Well, that's us now on to the 12th teaching in this uh, love series um, in our Monday prayers. And of course, this whole season has been like a practice season, you know. Um, you know, it's been all about trying to get the sound right and just, you know, trying to get it down to a certain amount of time. And of course, the lighting for me has always been a bit of a challenge, you know. But um, I think we're sort of getting there, you know, because I'd like to be sort of all ready for 2020, you know, because... Guys, you know, we're, we're dealing with God, you know, we're, we're dealing with the Word of God here, you know, and it needs to be presented well, so, yeah, a lot, a lot of learning curves, and of course, I always want to thank you guys on our personal social media for the support and, and all that, you know, it's just been tremendous to, to do this, especially during this time, and of course, you know, again, as always come back to the this sort of dominating factor we've had in this past while has been me recovering from surgery all year, and of course, it was a month in hospital, five days in a breathing machine, and uh, two and a half weeks, I think it was, that I just kind of quite remember, you know. And um, it's took a lot this year to build my legs up, my upper body, you know, it's took quite some time. But of course, all of this has been great to keep me focused and, and moving forward. But guys, I just cannot but thank you for the support you've shown, you know, even if it's just likes and little comments and stuff, you know, it's been really good, especially during some of the, the, the harder times this year, you know. But yeah, but I just thought, you know, I'd share that again, just very quickly. You know, you guys have obviously, you know, our personal media have heard it all before, but it's been a long season to endure. And in a lot of respects, this has really been going on now for about, you know, over two years, you know, since I first sort of fell ill to the, you know, the first operation, end of 2017, the end in 2018, you know. And I think that just brings it really nicely along to, you know, this 12th part of the love of God. And of course, like I keep saying, you know, that God's, God's very different from anything we can really quite imagine when it comes to being a father and, and being your friend. And of course, God calls himself love itself. And quite often we don't have a real good view of what love actually is, you know. But in the Word, in 1 Corinthians, he tells us all those component parts of who he is, you know. And when you put them all together, you get a very different view of who God is. You know, and I have to be very open with that, you guys, you know, that, you know, even sometimes I get it a little wrong in a certain situation or a, a certain sort of way of thinking and you kind of revert back to that sort of wrong idea of God, you know. But, you know, as, as time goes on, as you, as, as you become a very a sort of established Christian, this stays very much in the forefront of your mind, this who God actually is, you know. And um, the, the, the last one, which I especially like, is that love endures all things, you know, endures all things. And, you know, in, in the past two years, guys, you know, I, I, I'm, not sit, I'm not sitting here, you know, I've had great character and I felt God all the way through it and all this sort of stuff, you know. The better part of the time, absolutely, you know, absolutely. But there have been a lot of dark times as well, you know, and there's a lot of times when I've been really confused and just just those times, you know, and I think, well, what, why? What, what, what are we doing all this for, you know, sort of thing? And, uh, you know, really seeking the Lord. And in some respects, you know, um, God has had to endure me, you know, during a time like this. He's actually had to endure me. And it's not the first time, you know, when I, I fell ill with sort of colitis. Don't worry, guys, I'm actually quite a healthy person. But uh, <laughs> I had ulcerative sort of colitis and got two operations um, you know, around about the 2006 time, you know, where I've got a colostomy bag now, and of course this was, uh, these surgeries were surgeries gone wrong. They're just simple hernia surgeries, you know, so it's not really, you know, but God had endure me back then, you know, that was four years. And guys, I can only tell you from his word and from my experiences and from the experience of those Christian friends around me, he endures 100%. No matter what it is, no matter if you're wrong, he will still endure you. And, you know, as a Christian, you know, you can only endure so much. You know, you, you can't endure other people 100%. You know, only God can help you do that. And only God can do that. But God's love, eh, in the Greek, agape, selfless love, um, you know, it's it goes it takes it a step further even from in, in that kind of endurance, you know. And the, the part I really like, you know, when it comes to this particular one is that God will keep on loving a person even if he's not responded to. You know, that's what agape love does. It's not a conditional love. And that's who God is. He will always believe the best in his children. He'll always be encouraging his children, you know. But guys, this is who God is, you know. And again, don't, don't go back to, you know, you showing this love. You know, only God can really 
show that love through you. You can only do that by the power of the Spirit. But God will keep on loving even if he's not responded to you. And guys, I think the greatest idea of um, endurance I could show you in that respect is, you know, that again, just from my, my own experiences, that I fell away from God in my teenage years and came back to him, you know, um, 2002. My life was just an absolute rat's, you know, a rat's nest, a mess. It was just absolutely terrible. But the thing I, I learned in that first a year or so was that God had never given up on me. You know, I, I'd given my heart to him and I had a very special experience with him when I was nine years old. But I'd given my life to him and I thought that when I fell away, you know, that was it, you know, he wouldn't be sort of enduring me anymore. But I found he was enduring me all along. And if God could endure my drinking, my womanizing, drugs, out and, you know, bikes, cars, just all the sort of different things I was doing, I think I probably partook in most of the sins life has to offer, you know. You know, the clubbing and the pubbing and, oh my goodness. But he endured that. And even when I came back, I could see that he'd been there on more than one occasion to steer me on the right path. And of course, that's always the thing with God. You know, it's, it, it wouldn't be freedom if God was controlling you and making you do things. All God can do is bend your will and really just show you the right direction to take. But guys, he endured me all that time. And guys, especially from El of Colitis time and this time, to my friends and family, guys, thank you for enduring me. You know, it, it certainly hasn't been easy, especially you know, mentally and emotionally, you know. And guys, I just thank you so much for enduring, you know. And I know that the, the guys that are really sort of look to God, you know, in a big way, on a daily basis, you guys have really displayed a tremendous amount of the character of God towards me. And I just, I'll always be grateful for that. So in enduring all things, you know, God would never quit and throw in the towel on you, even if he did. Guys, that is not him. You know, and he never quit on me. He had to sort of let me go my own path a little own direction at times you know but he always he always had me covered you know and uh, he never quit on me ne he's never ever quit on me I've quit on him you know with certain situations or you know when you know, especially when you're learning you know there's times that you get things wrong and stuff you know but he's never quit on me ever and for God no matter what the cost is no matter how long it takes he will keep going and keep going and keep going you know, and this, friends, is the difference between God and a person or a pastor or a, an experienced Christian. He can keep going and going and going, no matter what the, the time involved or the cost, you guys. You know, this is who God is. It is just as simple as that, you know. Anything else that contradicts what is said in 1 Corinthians 13 or the things that Jesus did, the things that God did through Paul and, and all these different things, you know, that is who God is all the way through and when you become quite an experienced Christian you can see that you know you can see even difficult situations where God you know that all these things sort of work together because all things work together for good but he won't quit on you honestly you know it doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing absolutely you no know, God doesn't condone sin as such but he loves us you know it's one of those uh, hates the sin but loves the sinner you know and that is just who God is you know so yeah guys that's the 12th one and it's took a little while uh, you know obviously from surgery to recovery it's been really sort of up and down but next year this will be a regular feature each Monday on our Tribulation Soldier Comms YouTube channel and on our online weekday magazine on Facebook called the Tribulation Soldier Comms and um, you know this is translating across from God's word that you know before anything we pray and if it's good enough for you know, the, all the apostles and all the guys in the church back then, then it's good enough for us. And it's certainly good enough for an online ministry. And the hope is, guys, that, you know, you really get a touch from God through this, you know. It's, he's not bound by distance. He's certainly not bound by time. If you partake in this prayer in six months' time or a year's time, it makes no difference. God will still respond to that because he's, he's obviously investing in the future, you guys, you know. And, you know, the hope is that when hopefully over the, the sort of weeks and months, especially for those that are quite inexperienced as Christians, that you'll see me praying and you'll think, right, I can do that, you know? And you'll see me praying and think, hold on, I can hear from God too here, you know? I don't have to be this or I don't have to be that. I don't even have to be really experienced. I can hear from God and I can pray before the Lord. And I just hope that any of you that do struggle with prayer, guys, this is the way I was taught to pray and this is the way I always pray, you know? And um, 
God has responded so many times. There's times, you know, that you, you don't, you know, you, you maybe don't um, quite hear from him or maybe you don't sense it. But guys, you know, when you sit there and you share about other things, you offload, you cast all your cares upon him, you just get rid of it all. You know, no matter how filthy it is or how stupid it is, just getting rid of it all, you know. Thanking the Lord, asking him to just be merciful upon some of the stupid things that he might say or do or stuff like that, you know. But guys, the prayer has got to be genuine. You know, it's got to be genuine. God wants us talking to him as though he's in front of us. You know? And I remember early times of prayer, you know, I'd be like, Oh Lord, thank you for this trial and bless you and bless everybody around us. You know, and that's okay guys, you know, we're just learning. But God comes to the point where he's saying, what are you, what, tell me how you feel. Do you feel hacked off with me? Do you not understand? in a respectful way and say yeah Lord I don't get this what, what's, what is this why I don't understand God wants a relationship a real relationship and please always remember you guys that God's not interested in changing your personality sometimes we, we want our personality to change but no he loves your personality for the way it is you're, sub, you're supposed to embrace that but it's our character it's our level of love, our level of patience and endurance, you guys. You know, that's the things that change us as a person. And that's what God wants to fully grow within us, you know. So let's come before him, you guys. And again, for you maybe inexperienced Christians, you know, just close your eyes, find a quiet place. It'll just be, you know, four or five minutes, maybe something like that. And uh, really look to God. And as I was always taught is don't be surprised if he turns up and answers, you know. But equally, don't be surprised if he doesn't. You know, it just goes up and through and up and through and up and through, guys. We just go for it. We just keep praying and praying and praying, you know. So let's come before him. Father God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, and just bless you for who you are. When I think about those component parts over this past um, um, prayer, these Monday prayers, Lord God, I just, I always look to you, Lord, as you know, and I just want to see that so much more clearly at times. But nonetheless, this is who you are, Lord, and I just thank you for that. I'm just so glad that this is you, that you're not the dictator, you know. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for enduring me. Because I know, Lord God, that you've endured me when others haven't. I just thank you so much, Lord God. And for maybe them that are inexperienced out there Father Lord I just look to you I just look to you to touch their lives Lord teach them how to pray teach them how to have their own personal relationship with you that's not based on another person or a pastor or a church just you and them Lord God and I just thank you for that that you are so willing you have no interest in experience or titles or roles that everybody's the same in your eyes, Lord. Give them the reassurance that that'll come with time and experience, Lord. Thank you that you'll never quit on us, Lord. You won't throw in the towel even if we do. Thank you, Lord, at whatever the cost or whatever the time frame, you just you just will not leave us, Lord. Show us again, Lord, that you're the only 100% in our lives, that no one else can be, no institution, nothing. You, you're the only one that can be that 100%. Thank you, Lord, for the grace And I know in your presence, Lord, I can say that you've never let me down or given up on me. And I just thank you, Lord, because I know in my heart that I don't deserve it. I certainly don't deserve it.
Remind us again, Lord, that we can do nothing of ourselves, to not strive and be something or even learn something as such, Lord. Let us know that you're so willing to teach us, that you'll show us the way. And if there's any watching us that maybe don't know you, Lord, please let them know in their hearts that if they've got drink problems, if they've had it been abused, if they've been raped, just anything, Lord God, anything of where they might be at a particular point in time, Lord, that you can rescue them, that you can transform them, you can make life different for them, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that you came to me and to rescue an unrighteous person, not a righteous person. Lord, that's where you go when you seek us out. Let everybody know, Lord, that you can heal them from that abuse. Alcoholism. Terrible upbringing. Just anything, Lord, you can do it. Because you're unlike any father, you're unlike any friend that we know. Just please, 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 Lord, that anyone listening just now won't get the wrong impression of you. If you've been misrepresented in some way in a person's life, just pray you make it so clear, Lord God, that that was not you, that you are love. Please, Lord, for anyone out there, Lord God, that they don't need to be, we know we don't need to be a pastor or have a role or be an experienced Christian to hear from you. It's just nonsense. That in your eyes we're all the same. And you're so willing to speak to any one of us at any time, day or night. I just bless you, Lord, and you know, even when I head off the my sort of prayer closet, you know, Lord, where I just sort of bear all, I just look to you as always, Lord, to be merciful upon me, Lord, and give me the answers that I need in the various situations that we've got going on in our family, Lord God. And again, for any of you who are, maybe don't necessarily believe that this is a true representation of what you do, Lord, that you're so intimately interested in our family, our family life, our home, our jobs, our leisure time. There's just no one like you, Lord, and I just thank you that the generations before me that were saved and looked to you, Lord God, it just stays in complete agreement, Lord, that you never change. I just can't do touch the lives out there Lord God I pray my brothers and sisters and future brothers and sisters hopefully be there for my wife Lord my children do the things I can't do Father God, I just thank you and bless you for this time. I know it's a short time. And again, Lord, we know that in six months to a year's time, it doesn't matter. It absolutely does not matter. That you'll be there, Lord God. Thank you once again, Lord God, that you endure all things. And I just pray that my testimony and that of the people around me that have went through similar things, Lord God, shows that you always endure. That you always will endure. You won't throw in the towel. And you'll keep going no matter what the cost or the time frame, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Amen. 
so there we are you guys and uh, just perfect timing the pussy cuts came up and getting some feed just now you'll maybe hear a little bell going but uh, hopefully she won't distract you but yeah just thank you so much you guys for this time of prayer together you know i sort of do these videos in faith and um you know i know that god will speak to you through this so basically guys we'll maybe got one more prayer this year and that's going to be the big prayer and uh, it tends to be, tends to be a sort of review that's the kind of feel i get from it anyway you know that a real review of this um this past year and you know what god's been saying you know and then comes the christmas time and of course i just want to say in, in all these videos that are wrapped to christmas that we will still be posting on our pastor stephen and sharon facebook page over christmas and new year and also on our Barney family channel on YouTube. And obviously lately there's been a bit of changes on YouTube, you guys. So um, you can go onto our Barney family fun channel for kids. So that's totally for kids. Uh, the antics of David and Emily, my, my kids, you know, oh, just doing all sorts of stuff, you know. And uh, you know, that channel's really building well. I'm really quite pleased with that. But again, guys, this prayer will be a regular feature. There she goes. This prayer will be a regular feature of our Tribulation Soldier comms um, YouTube and uh, weekday online magazine on Facebook, you know. So I just hope you guys really enjoy. There's just so much more to come, you guys. So God bless you for now. And I hope you have a great week.